Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here from Snowboard Pro Camp. Today here with Chris. Hey guys. And in this video, we're gonna go through all the different types of snowboards and give you guys some tips and some of our experience so that you guys can find the perfect type of snowboard for you. I'm excited, let's go. Let's do it. The first type of snowboard is the all mountain type. This one is the No Bad Day Reverence Board. And all mountain boards, they're just typically designed for riding around the mountain, carving, getting your turns down, uh, sticking to the groomed runs, but you can still take these boards um, off piste and into the park a bit. Yeah, so you're gonna see a lot more directional boards in all mountain as well as they're gonna be a bit stiffer, so better on that uneven kind of choppy terrain that you're gonna find. Yeah, so more of the all mountains will be have that uh, positive camber, which are really good for riding at high speeds because they keep you really stable, uh, great for holding an edge through a carve, and for riding with speed through like choppy conditions. Yeah, my first board was an all mountain board and I used to love it just for going down super steep stuff, going fast, pretty much doing everything outside of the park as fast as I could, and it was perfect for that. Yeah, my first board was an all mountain board as well. So great for learning my turns. The thing that made me get away from an all mountain board a bit was because I wanted to start getting more into the terrain park and, and into tricks. But if, if uh, just riding the whole mountain is your thing, then the all mountain is the way to go. Yeah, and really good choice for first board if you don't see yourself as a like, huge park rat. Exactly. One of the all mountain boards that I'm looking forward to this season is trying out the Travis Rice Pro Model by LibTech. Travis Rice is the man at riding big mountain and all mountains, so I'm sure he's designed a pretty sick board. <laughs> yeah, and for me it's the Ride War Pig, which is coming back from last year. Really popular board and a lot of people's favorites, including TJ. That's one of his favorites from last year. Yeah. So yeah, super pumped to try it out. The next type of snowboard is the Park Board. Uh, this one is the Solomon Huck Knife. Uh, I rode this board most of last season, one of my favorite boards. The thing that makes Park Board special is that they're typically twin shaped, so they're good for riding in both directions, which is really key for when you're learning, learning tricks and learning your park skills, being able to ride switch or regular. Yeah, so for, for myself, when I first got my park board, it's symmetrical nose and tail. You set your stance up right in the middle, and so turning, regular turning switch, it should be the same feeling. Yeah, super key for learning tricks. Another thing with park boards is that they have um, usually are a bit softer for doing uh, nose and tail presses. So this one has camber between the feet, but then the nose and tail are reverse camber, so really easy to get into butters and presses. And with the softness, it's more forgiving on landings from jumps and, and rails and stuff like that? Yeah, definitely. A lot more forgiving if you kind of have an uneven landing. It's going to um, allow you to ride out of it a bit easier. And a bit shorter as well, right? Yeah, park boards are a bit, uh, typically a bit shorter uh, just for the maneuverability for, for doing tricks. Yep, get small, tight, spin to win. That's right. <laughs> and so with park boards, you can get different spectrum of ones that are designed just for park and ones that are kind of a bit more of a hybrid. On the more hardcore side, you probably have the Lib Tech Skate Banana, which the whole thing is just like a giant banana shaped rocker. And so totally weird feeling out of the park, but great for in the park. And then maybe more as a hybrid, you have the Solomon Huck Knife, which although being park specific is also good, as Kevin showed, like off, off piece in the trees and powder. Yeah, same with Chris's board, the Burton process. It's uh, a bit good for both. So for riding park or for free riding. So it's one of those like hybrid, hybrid boards. Yeah. So the next type of board is the powder board. This one is the Yes 420. And powder boards are just, you know, they're very uh, specific type of boards. If you're only gonna get one board, you don't wanna get a powder because it's, a, it's just so specifically designed for those powder days. Yeah, so you're gonna see a lot of boards with big surface area, stuff that's just gonna help you float on top of powder. Yeah, so this one's got a massive surface area. It's short and flat and just floats really easy. And it's also designed to have a, a bit of a bigger nose. So, and then this way it, it kind of like levels you out as you ride on top of the snow. You don't have all your weight onto your back foot through the powder. You can kind of ride it with uh, like level on both feet. 
Yeah, and the one I tried last year that I like was the Jones flagship, which is a more traditional looking board. Uh, it sits right on top of the snow, super, super easy. And it actually has a kind of spoon shape from toe to heel on the base. And so it just sits you on top of the snow uh, and just makes it almost impossible to fall over. Yeah, so these shapes boards just make those powder days, like they take them from being amazing just and make them even more great. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> normally powder days are the most epic anyway. Yeah. And so you're just taking it from epic to like, what well, I don't know what's beyond epic. Mind blowing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of the boards I'm looking forward to trying out this winter is the Capita Black Snowboard of Death. Uh, just a really fun looking powder board. Yeah, I think with the powder boards, you get the most unique and crazy designs. And the one I want to see is the Jones Lone Wolf, which is brand new for this year. The front looks normal and the back, looks, back of it looks like a, a weapon of some kind. Uh, really, really weird looking board, but a lot of unique and different designs in the powder boards. Yeah, lots of exciting shapes coming, coming soon. Oh yeah. One thing to mention on all these different types of boards is that if you have large feet, like 11 and a half uh, and over, then you might want to check out uh, wide boards. It's just going to make it so that your toes and heels aren't dragging in the snow as you ride. Yeah, not all models out there have wide ones, so you can be a little bit limited, but if you do have long feet, it's almost a necessity to get the right size, right width snowboard. Yeah, it'll really save your day, especially if you're renting a board. Yeah. And for all the ladies out there, uh, the women's boards uh, follow all the same rules as the men's do, uh, but the difference with the women's boards is that they're just made for people that are lighter and with smaller feet, so the shape of the board will be smaller and a bit easier to flex. Yeah, and this year I know they're coming out with about eight or so brand new models in women's boards across the different companies, so hopefully they're a lot more choice and availability and yeah, you've got to find what you want. Yeah, and we'll try our best to get some uh, women's reviews out there for you guys too. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. So I hope these tips will help you guys find the perfect type of snowboard for you. We'll put links to all these boards down in the, in the description so you can check those out. And if there's any new boards that you think we should know about or that you've been riding that you like, then leave those down below as well. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks Chris cool. for helping thank, out. Thank you Kevin. No Looking worries. dashing in your new shirt. Oh yeah guys, check out these Snowboard Pro Camp shirts. We'll put a link to those as well. We'll see you guys in the next video soon. Awesome. See you guys.